Hello all, welcome back to Current Affairs Settler Series. I'm Guna Madhivanan from Offices IAS Academy. In this video, we are going to discuss another interesting, important headless topic that is regarding permafrost. So what is a permafrost? Permafrost, as the name says, permanently frozen. Permafrost, permanently frozen. These are ground which are permanently frozen. Surface, land surface which are permanently frozen. That is the temperature of the ground will be 0 degrees or less than 0 degrees. What is the condition sir? At least for 2 years that land surface should be frozen. Though we are calling it as permanently frozen areas. But even if some area which is frozen for 2 years then that area also we will be calling it as permafrost. Almost 22% of our land surface is permanently frozen. 22% of our land surface, Earth's land surface is permanently frozen. Go to Arctic, go to Antarctic, you will see only ice. Right. But however, don't imagine that permafrost is a region where you will find only ice. Not like that. That above that frozen region, above the frozen region, the region can support an ecosystem. For example, look at this image. Right. Above the ice, we have vegetation. Above the ice, we have vegetation. So, these permafrost region can also support life. It can support vegetation. For example, in Russia, in Canada, we have uh, tundra vegetation. So, these are examples which says that even permafrost regions surface, the surface of the permanently frozen region that can support vegetation. So, don't get confused. Now, what is the uh, problem? The problem is global warming. Now, because of the climate change, because of the global warming, these permanently frozen region is getting melted. That is called as permafrost thawing. When I say thawing, that means softening. That ice is, the hard ice is getting softened. It is getting melted. It becomes water. Now, what is the problem of this permafrost thawing? Just look at this image. Look at this image also. Look at the second image as well. So, the ice, the permanently frozen region that breaks down, that gets melted and 22% of the land area is permanently frozen. If that 22% of the land area which is having several kilometers of thickness of ice, if that is getting melted, that is getting breaked, that is getting melted, what is the consequence? What is the consequence? Consequence number one, look at the image and just imagine. Now, this permafrost region also supports an ecosystem. It supports life. So, when that permafrost region is getting destroyed, then the ecosystem, the ecosystem which it supports, that is getting affected. There will be loss of biodiversity. In that region, the biodiversity will be lost. Right, and not just that. Now, these are huge, huge, unimaginable quantities of ice. When that is getting melted, then that will result in a rise in sea level. The sea level will rise. Now, when sea level rises, then what happens? The coastal states will be largely affected. Right, even if you take this Arctic region and the associated nearing regions, when because of this uh, permafrost thawing, when there is a meltdown of ice, when there is a meltdown of ice, now that is going to rise the sea level and that water is going to get affect the industries, contaminated areas, cities will submerge. Okay, now all these waste from these regions will come into the ocean. Right, when that comes into the ocean, then ocean will get further contaminated. See, have you heard about Arctic amplification? Arctic region is getting heated four times at a higher rate when compared to the other parts of the world. That is called as Arctic amplification. I will explain that Arctic amplification in some other video. But just understand that this Arctic region is getting uh, heated up at a faster pace. Right? That is what we have to know. So that means the Arctic region, the Arctic region that has huge amount of ice, then we are able to witness huge breakdown of those ice, huge permafrost thawing we are able to see. 
and that results in ecosystem gets affected, biodiversity gets affected, sea level will rise, sea level rises, the coastal cities, the coastal industries, everything else getting affected, then all those wastes from that industries, the cities that is going to enter into the ocean, the ocean biodiversity will be affected. Right, and not just that, and not just that, see this permafrost, this permanently uh, frozen region, that is a source of uh, fresh water. Right, these are source of fresh water. Now, the source of fresh water now that gets melt, ice gets melted, mixes with the ocean, it becomes uh, salty. So, the source of fresh water is also gone. Right, not just that, not just that. See, now these are these permafrost are permanently frozen region, these are ice blocks which were formed above some old vegetated area. For example, we imagine this permafrost is a big ice block. Above the ice block, we are able to see some kind of vegetation that we are able to understand. We are able to see some kind of vegetation above the ice block. That is okay. Now, thousands and thousands of years ago, right, lakhs of years ago, you now below, this is completely ice, but below the ice, there are some vegetations which are buried which are buried, there were some trees, there were some plants which are buried below this ice, there were some animals those days which were buried under this ice, which is not decomposed because of the very low temperature it is not decomposed. Now what happens if this ice is getting melted, if this ice is getting melted because of rise in temperature, the ice is getting melted and the ice gets melted, now what happens, these older incompletely decomposed old incompletely decomposed vegetation that will be exposed because this ice is now gone the ice got melted now the ice got melted so now what happens this the buried the buried vegetation is now exposed so these were buried thousand lakhs millions of years ago so, millions of years ago, you would have had some bacteria, you would have had some virus. Now, all those are also exposed. Right? All those, just simply imagine, there is a burial ground. Hundreds of years ago, dead bodies are buried. And today, those dead bodies are exposed to the land. The dead bodies will carry a lot of germs which were there before 100 years. But now I am talking about, these are dead remains of plant, animal. Now these are getting exposed, right? Millions of years, thousands of years, lakhs of years ago, those times different, different germs were there. Now those different germs will come into the surface, right? These older viruses that can cause us new diseases. In uh, Serbian region, such, such because of such permafrost thawing, uh, anthrax, anthrax was coming to the surface and almost 2000 deer in that uh, Serbian region was getting affected. These older viruses is also called as zombie virus. You would have seen in some videos that lot of deers uh, after exposing to this older viruses, they are behaving in an unnatural way like a zombie. Right, so all these are possible when the permafrost is, uh, gets thawed and most importantly this permafrost region is a, it, it helps in sinking the carbon, it has stored a lot of carbon, it has stored a lot of carbon, how sir, see I said if this is going to be the ice then below that we have lot of old vegetation, below that we have a lot of old vegetation. When the ice is removed, when the ice is removed, what happens? The old vegetation is exposed. The old vegetation is partially decomposed. It was not fully decomposed. Now the old vegetation, it has carbon, right? It has stored carbon. Plants is taking carbon dioxide. So the carbon is stored in, in, in the older plants and animals. That older plants and animals, now it will start decomposing. So that is going to release carbon that is going to release carbon. Arctic region alone, Arctic region alone, almost it has 1700 billion 
metric tons of carbon which is trapped below the ice. Arctic region alone has 1700 billion metric tons of carbon buried below the ice. If the ice is melted, if the ice disappears, what happens? All the uh, buried carbon is going to be emitted back. The 1700 billion metric tons of carbon, if it is released in a single go, that is almost equivalent to 50 years of carbon emission. 50 years of carbon emission, how much carbon it has emitted, that too much carbon emission you can have in single go if the Arctic loses all its ice. For every 1 degree Celsius of rise in the temperature will result in thawing of 39 lakh square kilometers in Arctic region. 1 degree Celsius rises, then 39 lakh square kilometers of ice is gone. 1 degree Celsius rises, then that too much land is gone. Just imagine how, what is the carbon emission which that, that will result in. So this is going to have a very huge impact. Today, this Arctic amplification is happening at a faster pace. Arctic region is getting uh, heated up at a faster pace and we are seeing a lot of permafrost thawing. It's a serious thing which we have to address. Climate change is real. Right, with uh, one country's effort or few countries' effort, we cannot bring any big magic. What we need is a global cooperation. A multi-stakeholder partnership is required to address these problems or else human civilization will perish in the coming years. Let's see what is going to happen. Anyhow, from exam point of view, this topic becomes very important from both prelims as well as mines. I will see you tomorrow with another interesting topic. Till then, bye. Take care.